just very quickly where you were born and raised. I was born in Aberdeen, Washington. Um, 1967, and I lived between Aberdeen and Montesano, which is 20 miles away. How do you spell that? Montesano? Yeah. M-O-N-T-E-S-A-N-O. And I moved back and forth between relatives' house throughout my throughout my whole childhood and, and Your parents until high up, school. Split up, yeah. Yeah, when I was um, seven. And do you remember anything about that? Um, yeah, I remember feeling ashamed for some reason. I was ashamed of my parents for... I couldn't face some of my friends at school anymore because I wanted... I desperately wanted to have the classic fam... you know, typical family, mm -hmm. mother, father. I wanted that security. Mm -hmm. So I... I resented my parents for quite a few years because of that. Have you made it up with them now? You can help with them now. Well, I've always kept a relationship with my mom because she's always been the more affectionate one. Yeah. My father, I, um, I have, haven't talked to him for about ten years now, up until this last year where he he seeked me out at a, at a, at a backstage at a show when we played in Seattle. And um, for for a long time, I had, you know, I always wanted him to know that I um, I don't hate him anymore. Just I don't have anything to say to him. You know, I, I don't want to have a relationship with a person that just because they're my blood relative, they they bore me. You know, they're not, and my father is incapable of, of showing much affection or um, or even carrying on a conversation. So. Just because of the la well, the last time that I saw him, I I expressed this to him yeah. and, and made it really clear to him that I just didn't want to have anything to do with him anymore. But it was a, it was a relief on both our parts, you know, because for for so many years he felt that I really hated his guts. You know? That's what I've done all my life, though. I've always um. You know, quit jobs without telling the employer that I'm quitting. I just wouldn't show up one day. Same with high school. The last two months of high school, I quit. Um, so I've always copped out of things all my life. And so to to face up to my father was, although he's you know he 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 chose to seek me out, you know, yeah. but it was it was a nice relief. Do you write about this at all? I mean, what was it? The lyric on server servants? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever really dealt with any parental issues. I've never written about... I've hardly ever written anything obviously personal to myself or, any, or to anyone else on that scale. Well, I mean, when you were growing up, um, were you very isolated? Yeah. Very, yeah. And do it. Well, um, I had a really good childhood yeah. until until the divorce. Yeah. And all of a sudden, my, my whole world changed. I yeah. became antisocial and, and started to... I started yeah. to realize what... I, I don't know. I started to understand the reality of my surroundings, which is, which didn't have a lot to offer. Because it's you know it's such a small town, and and I started to realize I, I couldn't find any friends that I really were, I was very fond of, or who you know that, that was compatible with me, with the things that I like to do. I like I like to do artistic things. I like to listen to music. I could never find any friends like that. What did you listen to that? Mm. Whatever I could get a hold of. Um, usually my uh, my aunts would. Give me Beatles records. Yeah. So for the most part, I just had Beatles records, and every once in a while, if I was lucky, I, I was I was able to buy a single. Yeah. You know. Did you like the Beatles? Uh, yeah. Did you Absolutely. like it because they're English, or did you just like the tunes? Uh, I, like the I had no idea that 
Well, I think that I probably felt, um, I don't know, my mo my mother has always, has always tried to keep a little bit of English culture in our family. Like, we drink tea all the time, we have tea, you know. Although I've never really known my, 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 um, ancestry, really. I've never, yeah. I didn't even know until this year that, that the name Cobain was Irish. Huh? Because my parents have never bothered to look, huh? look at, you know, to find that stuff out. Fascinating. And I found out, um, through calling, looking through the phone books, through different phone books throughout, throughout America and finding, you know, names that were similar to mine. I couldn't find any Cobains at all, so I started calling Coburns. And I found this one lady in San Francisco, and um, and she had been uh, researching our, our family history for so it's a Cobain. couple of years. Well, Cobain. Um, no, actually, it is Cobain, but yeah. they the Coburns yeah. screwed it up when they came over. Right. And it came from County Cork, which is really a weird coincidence because when we toured Ireland. Um, we played in, in Cork, and I, the entire day I walked around in a daze. I never felt more spiritual in my life. Mm -hmm. It was the weirdest feeling, and I, and I, I have one friend who was with me to mm -hmm. testify to this that I was almost in tears the whole day. It was the weirdest thing, and so I, and so since I, since that tour, which was about two years ago, I kind of sensed that I was from Ireland. Did you have um, problems in high school? Did were people uh, unpleasant to you? Did you kind of just <coughs> withdraw? Yeah, it wasn't so much. I, I was never. I was a scapegoat, but not in the sense that a person would be not not how a person would be picked on all the time. Yeah. People didn't really pick on me and beat me up um, because. I was so withdrawn by that time, and I was so antisocial that I was almost insane. You know, I felt so different and so crazy that people just left me alone. You know, they were afraid. I always felt that they would, they would, um, they would vote me most likely to kill everyone at a high school dance. Yes. You know. <laughs> could you understand why people would do that, or how people could get to that stage of actually killing, killing people? Yeah, yeah, I, I could. Uh, I definitely could see how um, a person's mental state could deteriorate to a point where they would do that. Yeah, I, I've almost, I've, I've gotten to that point where I've, I've fantasized about it, but it's, I would always have, I always would have opted for killing myself first, you know. But it, it was, I love movies about that. <laughs> you know, I, I liked, um, I've always liked revenge movies on high school. Dances and stuff. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Harry. <laughs> <laughs>